Alright, hello everybody, this is my first Let's Play, and I thought we'd start off with a bang with Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Uh, I believe it was given PC Gamer's highest rating ever. Uh, certainly that was true back when I first heard of it in 1998. Um, so, <laughs> I guess a lady never shows her age, but there you go. Um, so, we will just get started. I'll start off by sort of role-playing a little bit the uh, the first uh, game that I'll do. I'll play two games. I'll play one on the easiest setting, and then as I work my way up, um, I'll try and play one on the hardest setting for you guys. But this one, we'll just start a new game, and we'll play the map of planets. There is a... we'll play on Citizen the Lowest level. Standard rules. Uh, there is a... Um, what do you call it? There is a storyline to this, and uh, it's actually quite good. It's actually quite interesting. And uh, as you can see, there's seven factions here. I'm quite partial to Guy's stepdaughters and the University of Planet. You also have the Human Hive, which is more combat. University's research, Morgan Industries, which is um, uh, la 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 wealth. Spartan again, combat. Or it's Believers, actually surprisingly combat. And Peacekeeper, which is actually diplomacy. There's um, it's a lot like Sid Meier's Civilization. There's many ways to win. Um, so let's try and win this with Gaia's stepdaughters. In the Great Commons at Gaia's Landing, we have a tall and particularly beautiful stand of white pine, planted at the time of the first colonies. It represents our promise to the people and to planet itself, never to repeat the tragedy of Earth. Lady Deirdre Sky, Planet Dreams. So there's a lot of like talking like that, and I'll be narrating that for you if you just, you know, if you're listening at work or something, and you just have it on in the background. Um, you can customize your your things, so I could put Deirdre the awesome if I wanted to, but that's dumb, so I will not be doing that. Um, that's fine. So the game starts off in 2100, and it's interesting that they say the tragedy of Earth, because I don't really know what happens to Earth, you never really find out. But um, here now, in 2100, you've made Planetfall. So let's talk about that. Deirdre, a new era of struggle and opportunity awaits you. The UN starship Unity has arrived in the Alpha Centauri system after a 40-year voyage. All contact with Earth has been lost. After Captain Garland's assassination by an unknown assailant, the crew mutinied and split into factions. In the ensuing conflict, some seize control of the Unity's colony pods. You now shape the destiny of your Gaian faction, which has just made Planetfall. And so here we are. Our little piece of the ship has broken off, and we will use its resources to make our first base, and we will call it Gaia's Landing. And we are given uh, our first base and our scout patrol, and we will send our patrol out Turn to complete. explore our new home. Our base, if we can look at it, here we are. You can take the tutorial if you want, but I don't need that right now. Um, you can take a look at what is being made right here, we're making a former which is similar to the workers in Civilization. They do all the terraforming, they do all the um, the changes in landscaping, the improvements, if you will. Oh, how interesting. I can make the weather paradigm right now. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So these are all the things that the base is capable of creating right now, which is not enough. It's not really that much. As we research more technology and become more powerful, more things will be available to us. But for now, let's make a former so that we can begin turn complete, turn complete, yes, complete. So that we can begin terraforming our new home. Now then, research priorities. Um, as I said, there were seven factions. Our faction is more concerned with colonization, population growth, and just basic exploration. Um, which means that we will discover certain technologies more quickly than other factions, and we will not discover certain technologies as quickly as other factions will. So we will keep that uh, on its own. We could 
select all four. We could select a combination of uh, any of the four, but we will keep it at simply explore for now. The formers are building a road, which is good. Energy resources. And we will leave it like that for now. Turn ah, complete. Interesting. Mind worms. I wonder if we could capture them. Some units, usually alien creatures such as mind worms, can engage in psi combat. In psi combat, weapon and armor strengths are ignored, and the attacker is given a 2 to 3 advantage on land. Morale level becomes quite important in psi combat. So, you want to attack when you come up against mind worms. Our scout patrol unit has performed admirably and has now achieved green status. So, Nutrient resources. Ah, excellent. So Turn occasionally complete. your troops, if they Turn do well, complete. will uh, level up, if you will. Turn They'll complete. be promoted. Which Turn is good. Complete. Turn complete. Turn complete. Production if you can complete. discover a better way of life than office holding for your future rulers, a well-governed city becomes a possibility. For only in such a state will those rule who are truly rich, not in gold, but in the wealth that makes happiness, a good and wise life. Plato, the Republic, data links. Excellent. So, we have made a breakthrough in our research, in our exploration. That was what we were discussing before. Um, social cycle allows us to build recreation commons, and it also opens up the following three branches of technologies. The one that we are probably most interested in right now is Secrets of the Human Brain, because the first one to reach Secrets of the Human Brain gets a free technology. MY 2114, Guy and Scientists Discover Social Psych, their first research, research breakthrough since Planetfall. The university made mankind's first breakthrough four years ago. Hmm. Interesting. Another four to pause here just a moment to make some adjustments. Alright, we've built a former. Excellent, so they're building improvements. Indigenous life forms. Ah, now see what I like about the guys the best is that they are the only ones who can capture mind worms, which Turn are complete. native to planet. Good. Now these little dots here are xenofungus. Xenofungus is a plant for native to planet, and you will find it growing wild in many areas of planet. Each plant, earth, excuse me, earth plants cannot grow in squares containing fungus unless you clear the fungus first. You cannot build a base on it, you cannot do really anything until it's been cleared away. But recovered. Once a man has changed the relationship between himself and his environment, he cannot return to the blissful ignorance he left. Motion of necessity involves a change in perspective. Commissioner Previn Lal, The Social History of Planet. Guy's landing is completely undefended and may fall prey to mine worms or enemy attacks. Hmm. Well, that's why I'm bringing the mine worms. Back to base to defend it. Ah, Chairman Yang of the Hive on Channel 5. Switch to main view screen. Lady Deirdre, I presume. Chairman Yang of the Hive at your service. I am told you have built yourself a formidable empire here on this rocky planet. Be aware that I plan to found a society on the principles of security and control, and I will brook no interference in this matter. His might is potent. But mine is formidable. Lady Deirdre, I know I have been accused of preaching brutal nihilism, but I think you will find that I am a man of reason. Let us exchange knowledge on a quid pro quo basis. I will share my files on doctrine loyalty. You must, in return, fully disclose your data on Centauri ecology. Hmm. Doctrine loyalty would help. However, Centauri Ecology would allow him to create formers. 